Hey guys, what's up? It's the third night here and welcome to episode 7 of my PVM Pro video series. Part of this series that I guess makes it unique in a way is I need to continually update and swap out items I'm aiming for and already have as new items are brought into the game and PVM equipment is updated. So once again, I've reworked the armory a little bit. I added a space for the master wand which I bought last episode and forgot to add as well as for a bandos helmet, chest plate and tacit. Um, the chest plate is worth it now given its slight damage bonus um, and the helmet because I would like it over the Varex helmet as it doesn't degrade at all and it has the same stats. Um, sure it's a lot more expensive but it would be nice to have and not worry about it breaking on death or degrading. And the same goes for the Bando's Tacits versus Varex plate skirt. I also added the Garb of Subjugation as it now has a damage boost and so in situations where I don't need the full defense um, that Ganodermic the sorry, that the Ganodermic top gives, I could use a Garb of Subjugation mixed with other Ganodermic armor pieces. Um, and lastly, I also added the Dragon Rider boots, of course, for a reason I explained in a separate video to do with armor types, um, which I will link in the description below. Uh, besides that, I think I have everything set until the next part of the series, PVM Virtuoso, unless Jagex bring out any more big updates to the EOC uh, before I can buy the remaining equipment. So as always, if you think I've missed something which I could add to the armory, just tell me in the comments. Uh, moving on to bossing, when I was away on fishing on my fishing holiday, I managed to do a little bit of QBD and it has been a very profitable uh, boss. I haven't been there in the past week or so, but that is because I've been busy working on maxing, although I doubt it would have changed much. So uh, I also hear that the QBD bots have been banned. So if you're looking for a decent money making method, definitely check out QBD if you can, as it is around a minimum of 3 mil an hour. Um, if you're getting kills under 5 minutes, it's going to be 3 mil minimum an hour, and it's pretty um, easy to get anywhere from 3 to 6 mil an hour if you get faster kills um, than that, and a bit lucky in terms of loot. So yeah, definitely check that out if you can, um, and if you do want to make a bit more cash. So I made some cash from that, which was nice, and I've definitely planned on going back there whenever I get the chance, as I'll need some more cash, um, not only for PVM Pro, uh, but also for 99 construction and smithing, which are the last Bibles I have to go for maxing. Um, a bit after I uploaded episode 6 of PVM Pro, I also did some bandos and got a hilt, a bandos helmet, as well as a few shards. Um, so that was a bit of fun. It was pretty cool because I got the Bandos helmet when I was getting footage for my Bandos guide. So that was some nice cash and pretty um, convenient. Uh, I also bought the Vampirism Aura from the Loyalty Rewards Shop, which is a really good aura um, to use for PVM. Uh, and so now I have three decent um, auras which I can equip and use every hour, which are Vampirism, Penance, and Reverence. So those will definitely be an added bonus to future PVMing trips and I definitely recommend um, grabbing onto any of those auras if you want them for PVM. Um, on top of this, I also received 2k rune coins from buying um, the RuneScape Gold Membership Package which was a cheaper year of RuneScape mem Membership so it was worth it just for that reason um, and the rune coins were just an added bonus. Um, I obviously don't support any sort of microtransactions in any game but I still use them because other, you know, otherwise that would have been a complete waste. So I spend them all um, on five bank boosters. Uh, and on top of the free bank boost that everyone received, I now have a absolute shitload of free bank space. It's it's really crazy. I think I've like I think it's like eight hundred and seventy something bank spaces in total. So that's really crazy. <laughs> um, so I made a few more spaces for a few items including teleports and potion plus and stuff. So that's pretty nice. It makes it a bit faster as I go through my bank. I don't have to search my items and stuff. Um, and it was, uh, you know, it was the only useful thing that I could sort of find in Solomon's store that wasn't a, co a cosmetic item, you know, like an emote or some like, you know, I don't know, armor set or whatever that's just cosmetic. So yeah, uh, Jagex also stated that they would be completely reworking the loyalty uh, point system uh, when they gave everyone 50 free um, bank spaces and um, all the rewards that the loyalty um, point store uh, offers. So that's uh, probably gonna be out in a few months, they said. So fingers crossed people will be able to get extra bank space with their lo loyalty points then. So that's something extra to look forward to as well, um, especially if you don't wanna have to uh, buy um, the rune coins. Uh, now something that I've been thinking about for a long time uh, was what to do with my Armadale staff. Um, it is literally useless at the moment, so 
Uh, I use my chaotic staff instead of it um, whenever I do I choose to use a magic staff as it has a higher damage bonus and you know I don't really care about the infinite air runes that um, the Armadale staff has uh, Armadale battle staff sorry as you know I'd prefer extra damage bonus to saving just a little bit of money on air runes which you know it's really not that much money at all uh, so I decided to sell the Armadale battle staff um, it was worth a decent amount at the time and I figured I may as well put it to something that I would use you know, such as Bandos armor or whatever. Hopefully that doesn't annoy you guys um, much, but you know, for those of you who are wondering what I'm actually talking about, uh, I made a video series not long ago uh, where I got an Armadale battle staff um, from 100 Armadale shards, and that's basically the stuff I ended up with. So it was kind of cool, except, you know, it had just been gathering dust in my bank account, so yeah, I decided to sell it. Um, besides, you know, that way I can make more progress towards max cape and, you know, better at PBM equipment. So that's more of an investment sort of thing. Um, so all in all, I've made some nice progress this episode, um, towards getting everything in the armory. Although I do have a bit of a way to go. I would have liked to do, um, a bit more bossing and stuff. Uh, I definitely would have uh, loved to have gone, you know, and done some necks and, um, checked out cow fight king. I mean, cow fight queen, sorry. Uh, no, cow fight king. <laughs> okay. I got it right the first time. Um, but you know, uh, I just haven't had much time because I've been spending, you know, it's, it's sort of hard because I log on and I basically got the choice between going bossing or doing maxing. Um, and I sort of figure once I max, I'll do a lot more bossing, uh, and then like do dungeoneering on the side sort of thing, uh, on the way to getting untrimmed comp. Um, so yeah, it would, it would, it would be really nice to do some next though, um, soon. Cause you know, if I get one, a uh, decent split from that or cow fight king, um, you know, that would be like really good. Might might try um, trioing uh, some cow fight king and uh, also just a quick um, just a few uh, quick things uh, for anyone who wants to see me get 99 runecraft I have no idea why it's a fairly easy level to get but for those of you interested um, I'll be getting that later today so probably I don't know probably about I don't know we'll say four hours um, or so maybe no maybe later than that maybe about eight hours after this yeah eight hours after this video has been uploaded I'll probably get that um, and also for the 1k subs event, uh, unfortunately, uh, I won't be able to take everyone cow fight uh, king. I sort of mucked that up. I shouldn't have said that. Uh, instead, we'll go next because cow fight king has a limit of 20 people in the room. So, you know, I just don't want to leave anybody out in case more than 20 people um, showed up. So, uh, yeah, so it's going to be next. And for that, I'm going to have to make a pretty decent um, sort of a guide for like actually massing it for people who don't know. So that might take a bit of time before I have that out because uh, it's pretty easy to diet next um, and stuff it all up if you don't sort of know what the phases are and everything. Even if you do um, mass it, it's not like you can just sort of just like push through it massively if you have heaps of people. I mean, sure, if you had like like stacks of people, you could do that. But, you know, with like 20, 20, I don't know, like 50 people, it might be a bit more hard. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see, um, see how it goes. But I'll have a separate video um, with all those details and stuff up eventually. Um... But uh, getting back into PVM Pro, um, I would uh, really like to complete this part of the series, um, which is obviously PVM Pro, and then move on to the next part, which will be called PVM Virtuoso, um, as soon as possible. Because you know, I'm I'm really um, pumped to get some you know some next armor pieces um, and some like you know the the very best PVM get gear that you can actually get. Um, so I'll definitely be getting stuck into some more bossing and dungeoneering. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get the remaining dungeoneering offhands and stuff, as well as, you know, um, complete uh, killing all the bosses and stuff I had on the list of bosses that I wanted to have killed by the end of this series. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I'll have everything by next episode. Sorry for the lack of uploads over the past few days as well. I try my best to keep up lots of videos, you know, keep them all coming out um, all the time for you guys, but uh, sometimes, you know, things get in the way, um, unfortunately. Anyway, moving on to the final part of the episode, I managed to complete all the Armadale items in the armory, which is kind of nice. So the Armadale chain skirt, also got the Dragon Rider boots, got the Master One last episode, added it to the um, armory uh, this episode, and also got the Bandos chest plate. So I've just got the Bandos helmet, Bandos tassets, um, Garb of Subjugation, and three offhand Chaotics, as well as a Chaotic Longsword to go. So it's really not much left. I just need to, you know, stick to some QBD in one day. I could hopefully get um, all of the remaining Bible stuff there. And then also maybe, you know, a few days of Dungeoneering and I would have all the Dungeoneering items. So there's not too much more to go. I'm really looking forward to the next part. Really looking forward to finishing this bit. Um, it's going to be really nice once I've got, you know, all my base uh, PVM equipment and can really get into some, like, heavy bossing, especially after I'm maxed. 
Um, I really want to spend a lot of time doing um, getting max as well, uh, just so I can get that out of the way and do a lot of PBM later. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next video.